Twisha Christian. Today I'm just going to be showing you something that Donald Trump said. And it's about the banking system, the Federal Reserve System, everything that's going on, especially now with the virus. But, you know, for the last uh, year I've been showing you guys things that, that he said um, about the coming uh, gold standard. Uh, we discussed changes in laws, currency laws. We discussed the re renegotiated trade deals. There are so many aspects to this economy that has changed that uh, most people don't even see it. And I just wanted to bring this to you guys so you guys can see what he's saying, because I think this is very important, especially with everything going on with the stock market the way that it is. And I think they're watching it in very closely as far as the situation. And I think this could be the situation that breaks the system, that breaks the central banking system. Uh, I don't know how much longer I, until, you know, until they run out of money or... They stopped doing the repo loans, and, and now that the economy, the worldwide economy, has come to a complete, almost standstill to a certain point, especially in many areas, uh, this is all going to remain to be seen, because this is a pretty crazy uh, thing going on. We're in the weekend, and uh, I do look forward to what's going to happen when that Monday bell uh, rings at 8 o'clock. So I just want you guys to listen, and here's the video. Well, I think the stock market is uh, a reflection of this. Plus, I also think the people are not happy when they look at what's running on the other side. You know, it is an election, and I think we're going to do very well in the election, but it still is an election. And I don't think people are very inspired when they see the people running on the other side. But we're going to win, and that'll solve that problem. And after we win, you'll see a rise in the stock market like you haven't seen before. Have you talked to the Fed about intervening or doing something? Uh, well, I hope the Fed gets involved. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Fed. You know that. I think they make a lot of mistakes. They've made a lot of mistakes. But I hope the Fed gets involved, and I hope they get involved soon. If you look at Germany, they're putting in a lot of money, and they're probably lowering rates still further. You look at other countries, they're all stuffing the, uh, the till. They're all going in there. They're putting in a lot of money. And our Fed sits there, doesn't do what they're supposed to be doing. But that's up to them. That's up to them. They're independent, but they've done this country a great disservice. Thank you very much. The central banking system has done our country a great disservice. Oh, yeah, we're $23 trillion in debt. They can pull out $6 trillion right out of the hat. Right? So you listen to what he says. You know, he's not a big fan. They're making a lot of mistakes. And he's going to make his move at some point when he's going to cut the throat of the feds. All right, it's coming. But you know what? You know, they, they're already injuring themselves. And he'll be able to come in, uh, especially with this gold standard. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I, I'm not sure who brought this up, but I, I see here, um, I think uh, Pimpy brought it up, but it talks about the gold standard and the HR 2558. This bill was presented May 7th of 2019. All right, and this is in the House of Representatives. It says a bill to define the dollar as a fixed weight of gold. All right, so this here has been this here has been submitted. They're going to have to vote on it and everything else. Um, it says here, effective 30 months after the date of enactment of this act, the Secretary of Treasury in this act referred to as the Secretary shall define the dollar in terms of a fixed weight of gold based on that day's closing market price of gold. And the Federal Reserve Bank shall make Federal Reserve notes exchangeable with gold at the statutory gold definition of the dollar. Now, for all you haters out there that have said we're never going to go to a gold standard, the, it's, the groundwork has already been laid. All the central banks, remember I told you guys that uh, they've been buying gold, tons and tons of gold, to be ready for Basel three. Well, guess what? They're going to go to a gold, a, a gold back standard. All right, so I find this interesting. Um, it doesn't say anything in there about uh, as far as dollar in terms of a fixed weight of gold, uh, how that's actually going to work. Um, I don't see anything there. There might be some other information. But I will say this. The system is going to change. All right, so... Everything, you know, I just look forward to all this, folks. I mean, we got the Dow going down. You know, we got all these new laws concerning currency. We got all these new trade deals. You know, just many, many things that are happening uh, that may seem bad, but are actually good, and they're actually good things, right? So there has been a uh, gold standard bill set forth. All right, so all they have to do is vote on it. 
Now, I'm pretty sure that uh, they would get a lot of resistance uh, from the other side. That's why he said after the election that they're going to see some changes and it's going to, you're going to see the economy go up like it never has before. See, right now, there's one party that controls the House, right? And it's not the Republicans. So it would be very, very difficult to get something passed like that unless we had a major catastrophe where, to where they had no choice but to sign it. So I wanted to present that to you guys. Again, to those of you who don't think that this is not going to happen as far as a gold standard, it is. It's related to the currency reset. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they've planned all this thing together, but it's, this is going to happen. Right. And I think what he was saying was in the election that they're going to win and they are probably going to win the House. They are probably going to win the Senate and they are going to be able to just basically, uh, you know, get things done, especially when it comes to the economy, the global currency reset and the gold standard. Look forward to that. Anyways, guys, I thank you for listening. Uh, that video that I told you um, that I'm making, it will be out tomorrow. It's a little bit more uh, in depth than as far as editing wise. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Give a like, share, and subscribe. And with that being said, Twisha Christian out.